up, Barnett Zach? Tagged me. Uh, tagged me to show my two favorite knives. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Um, but I'm going to change it up a little bit. There's going to be two of my favorite knives for collectability and two of my favorite knives for carrying. So it's a little bit different than the way it's been going, but that's all right. Change is good. So first I'll go with my two favorite knives for collectability or what I would consider collectability. These aren't the kind of knives that I carry around. These are the kind of knives that I like to just hold on to uh, mainly for their cool factor. Uh, the first one is going to be the Benchmade Onslaught. Let me get that cleaned off a little bit. This is the Benchmade Onslaught. This is a Bob Lum design, as you can see right there. Such a cool blade shape. Very sharp access lock, G10 handles. Nice and big. Awesome knife. I love it. So that'll be one of them. The next one is I've, I've actually brought up and showed in other videos. Uh, and again, the reason I call this one collectible is because it's very cool, but also got some sentimental value. That's going to be the Spyderco Civilian. Uh, the sentimental value is that it was a gift from my wife. Uh, she gives me a lot of cool gifts and, and all of them have a sentimental factor, but um, this one I really liked and again something I don't carry I just I really like it reverse S shape fully serrated blade VG10 steel G10 handles single sided um, steel liner on the clip side very cool knife so these two are overall gonna be my favorite knives so uh, when it comes to the actual subject my two favorite knives it will be these two um, my two favorite for carry um, is again ones that you're, you've seen in the past, or this one at least, the Endura 4 Spider Co. Plain Edge. Um, this is the Lone Wolf 2010. I had it inscribed. I don't know if you can see it through the light. It says 9 by my side on the blade. And then of course I got the, uh, the zip tie for the wave type feature. Volcano grips. It's got a Glock tool. Um, I can't remember what size it is, but ultimately just a punch. So, very cool. I actually bent the pocket clip recently. You can see it's gapped. And I Loctited the shit out of it, so I can't get it off. I'm working on it, though. And then the newest one that I've actually been carrying for the last couple weeks is the Cold Steel Recon 1 Combo Edge Blade. And I'm really liking this as well very very tough durable knife um, the finish on the blade I believe is tenifer I could be wrong it's starting to come off now um, I didn't think I would like the serrations but I do surprisingly I like them a lot it comes very sharp razor sharp knife ambidextrous uh, tip up pocket clip and again very aggressive G10 um, grip I went ahead and dremeled down underneath the pocket clip. It was shredding my pants a little bit, so I took a dremel to it and problem solved. So this is another one that uh, I can actually call one of my favorites now. So that's it. Um, as far as people that I'd like to tag, um, first we'll do Mad Bad Voodoo. Um, I'd like to see his favorites, uh, Fat Boy R6. And Ebomi. We'll go those three. Um, if you haven't already been tagged, um, then you're it. But if you've been tagged, sorry, I just didn't notice. So there it is, guys. My favorite, uh, my favorite knives. Uh, my two favorite knives turned out to be my four favorite collectible and more carry knives, uh, utilitary type knives. So uh, thanks to Barnett Zach for the shout out and tagging me. And uh, that's it, guys. Peace.